Welcome, one and all. It's everyone's favorite time of year when the spirits come out to play, scaring the little children and giving old people the willies. That's right, it's Halloween. Night Slashers is an arcade game that was released in 1993 by good old Data East, a company who released a lot of really good games back in the 90s. Night Slashers is similar to Capcom's Final Fight series or Streets of Rage made by Sega, both of which are side-scrolling beat-em-ups. You get to choose from one of three characters and you must fight your way through hordes of the undead in an attempt to rescue the world from damnation. Players must go from left to right, fighting with all of the enemies who appear on the screen, beating the living crap out of the bastards until they dissolve and explode in a surprisingly satisfying way until you reach the boss of the level. These bosses always have a great variety and are a lot of fun to fight, but more about them later. You get to choose from one of three different characters which are Jake Hunter, who's an American monster hunter and street baller with combatant cybernetic arms, nicknamed the Psychic Cyborg. He's a very powerful character, but he's a little slow. He does, however, have robo-arms, which gives him a bit of an edge. Then there's Christopher Smith, a European vampire hunter and martial artist, and also winner of the most bland name competition. He's the most balanced character, he has an average in speed, and he's got average power as well. His elemental attacks are water and ice, and then there's Hong Hua, an Asian female martial artist and the obligatory sexy woman in the game. All the characters have a pretty large moveset, which is surprising for this type of game. And the variety of moves is quite fun as well. They have a lot of combo attacks and air attacks, as well as special moves and dashing attacks. You also have a screen clearing special attack, which each character uses their own element for. As punching is the main focus of this game, you do get a surprisingly nice amount of enemies to punch. They vary in... As punching is the main focus of this game, it's not surprising that there's a large amount of enemies for you to punch. In the game you come across all kinds of zombies, witches, werewolves, even elemental firemen and also weird looking paintings. It's all very strange, but each of them are very fun to kill. And once you do kill them, they generally have a pretty gruesome death animation as well, often melting in a pile of blood and bones. It's pretty awesome. The game does only have six stages, which vary in length. Some are split into three or four different sections, whereas others are actually very short and actually just end up being one large boss fight. The six levels that are in the game, though, are pretty good. It takes you through cities, graveyards, castles, and of course the obligatory elevator level all of which are satisfying to play. Also what's good about this game is you can actually play with up to three players. Unfortunately I have no friends, but I can imagine it would be great fun with three of you fighting the undead together. Especially as when you're playing single player, you do find that there are too many enemies sometimes on screen and there's very little you can do to defend yourself. So the game itself is great. The graphics are excellent, it's got good sound and is a lot of fun to play. And although it is quite short, it kind of is a blessing because it means it doesn't get boring. And although the game doesn't take too long to complete, it is well worth breaking out on Halloween. <laughs> 